All right, this is Up TikTok, episode 12. Uh, Brian, thanks for coming on the show. We haven't done a talk in a while. It's been uh, updates. Uh, how's everything? Everything is good and uh, keep us very busy because uh, we, we keep working on the project. Mm. We have the infrastructure project, which is Optic Chain, and also we have a marketplace project, uh, which is the well, NFT marketplace uh, with the multiple chain support. So, yeah, so uh, I think you can see that they, they come together pretty soon. And uh, yeah, that's the time we start to build our ecosystem application yeah. in Optic. Yeah, it's good to see it come together. So today I was thinking, you know, there's a lot of uh, crypto people, <clears throat> blockchain people that are uh, moving to different parts of the world. I, I think usually for tax advantages, I think a lot of YouTubers mm -hmm. that talk about trading and that they're uh, living in UAE now because uh, I think it's UAE because, you know, the the, there's no tax, income tax. But uh, from, you know, what you've seen in the media and that, what other places are hot for, for blockchain? Well, I, I think uh, originally people talk about Singapore, right? So Singapore is pretty friendly to crypto, mm -hmm. but, but now they are also try to tighten the regulation for whatever reasons. And also in the U.S., you know, uh, actually a lot of people move to U.S. as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. including the miners. But now they they are also facing some uh, regulation issues over there. And and uh, in my view, uh, maybe Hong Kong was uh, uh, take a look uh, recently mm -hmm. because uh, last year, you know, Hong Kong uh, released a pretty bold statement on the Web three right? So they want to embrace uh, Web three the crypto economy. Uh, actually, it's from the top government official. So that uh, is becoming a uh, well a guiding policy for the Hong Kong economy, right? So uh, in the last uh, half year, I see a lot of developments uh, going on. So people are uh, trying to well, uh, work with the uh, legislation uh, to 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 find some uh, to define the real policy, right? The, uh, to detail policy to support this uh, initiative. Yeah. yeah, I think that uh, that's uh, pretty uh, promising because, uh, you know, uh, uh, when you talk about the tax uh, or benefits, uh, if we move around in the world, uh, that that's uh, in my view, that's only one part of mm -hmm. the story mm -hmm. because uh, you know, uh, uh, what but but that's true because uh, uh, in the past the crypto uh, is the well uh, decentralized financial uh, infrastructure right so the reason try to uh, trade crypto to make profit to avoid the tax so all those are the financial activities uh, that, that they are driving people around mm. but in, in, on the other hand uh, in my view especially a uh, in optic view, uh, we think uh, only the financial activity is not enough, uh, because uh, if we want to build the next generation internet and the Web 3.0, mm. so we need to see more applications. We need to see more real applications can connect to our everyday life. Yeah. So in that case, we need to have a, a market which got strong support from the government. Uh, and uh, if we have the uh, certainty on the policy, then the business and uh, like application builders mm -hmm. will will make their decision, right? To build something real into mm -hmm. that. So that's uh, that's something I I, I think uh, is very interesting to me uh, in Hong Kong policy because yeah. uh, Hong Kong is a a, a city with uh, if I remember correctly, is around seven million and citizens, mm -hmm. seven million people. Mm -hmm. So it's not a big city, but it's a pretty uh, good city uh, with a very strong financial infrastructure, right? So it used to be the financial infrastructure, financial hub uh, to the world. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, what they try to do is really to enhance, uh, improve this, this uh, the financial infrastructure to make it be more crypto friendly. Mm -hmm. Because uh, crypto is the part of the future, right? So, so totally. I think uh, with that, uh, so uh, we can uh, be more confident uh, to talk to the business owners and uh, to talk to the well uh, business operators to to lend real business onto that. Yeah. So that's uh, that's I keep saying ecosystem applications, right? So so. 
So uh, I think, yeah, Hong Kong means uh, not only the financial infrastructure, but, uh, but also a good place to try out the, the, the Web3 applications. Yeah. yeah, totally. Totally. I agree with everything you said. You know, application development is super important. Mm, when yeah. you were talking about tax implications not being so significant, I, I see what you mean. But, you know, if a if a bunch of talent moves to one central location, I think you will generate some sort of like Silicon Valley sort of environment and things could spark spark from there. And speaking of Silicon Valley, that Silicon Valley bank that uh, had some trouble last week, I think the HSBC Bank of Hong Kong agreed to buy that. Have you heard anything about that? Uh, no, no, the news I heard is uh, the, the UK part of uh, HSBC, okay. uh, they agreed to buy the UK part of the Silicon Valley Bank for mm. one pound, for yeah. one pound. Basically, yeah. they, they took it over, uh, yeah. I see. Yeah, Hong Kong maybe has a lot of potential. Uh, you said, you know, Singapore, U.S., they, recently they've kind of been uh, tightening and uh, mm, implementing more regulations about crypto. And, and you said Hong Kong is opening up, it seems. So what, what's the government's uh, motivation? Are, are they not worried about losing control or are they looking at it as an income income grab? They can, you know, generate a lot of tax revenue by having crypto companies there. What, what's the what's the mindset? Do you know? Well, in my in my opinion, I think their their leadership is really forward thinking mm -hmm. uh, about this. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that's that's true. That's right. Uh, but on the other hand, I think uh, well, they won't be uh, uh, mm, or be blind, right, to move forward uh, uh, to go to the same uh, hurdle again. So they actually learning the lessons and experience from the uh, every part of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, try to understand. And uh, try to implement a a good uh, framework of policy to support crypto and Web three. Uh, so uh, and and also they need to avoid uh, some risks uh, because uh, you know the basically I think Hong Kong is a very open market. Uh, so it's uh, 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 so basically the, uh, the 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 goal is really to protect the individual, the customers. Right, mm -hmm. so whatever uh, framework you build, uh, so uh, whatever policy you give to the institutions, uh, the end goal is to protect customers, right? To to so uh, if they can uh, do that uh, properly, I think uh, maybe we can see a pretty good model to grow, uh, grow up uh, in Hong Kong for the Web three. For yeah. example, uh, as I heard, they 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 actually. Uh, uh, build a certain policy to to issue the uh, crypto exchange license, mm -hmm. right? Or different class of license uh, to those uh, crypto uh, trading investment uh, uh, institutions. So that that uh, is a pretty good uh, first step because they want to make sure that the, the exchange operate uh, legally in Hong Kong uh, should apply to those uh, uh, policy uh, mm -hmm. that regulations that's the first layer of pr protection right so and then maybe uh, I, as i heard uh, they are also implementing some uh, policies for the retail uh, market uh, uh, so, uh, just uh, maybe uh, yeah it's maybe uh, starting from june uh, they will allow the uh, individual to trade crypto uh, from some uh, well institution uh, mm -hmm. but uh, again it's um, the so called major crypto, uh, large market scale uh, crypto, like a BTC or ETH, mm -hmm. maybe it's the first round of a safe asset, right, to individuals. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that they're, they're, they're doing everything to try to uh, to protect uh, the investor, individual investors uh, or customers. Mm -hmm. I think that's a pretty good uh, uh, attitude over there, right? It's not just for uh, organization institutions, but uh, they, they protect the individuals. So that's the ultimate goal, right? So for the market. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So what's the, what are you thinking? Do you think this trend is going to continue? And then uh, if it does, then maybe, you know, outsource some some work there, if there's talent there, or talk to the government and try to implement some apps? What, what do you have in mind? Well, yeah, I, I'm pretty optimistic to that uh, because I, I, I think uh, Hong Kong is making the right choice yeah. because uh, uh, it will continue its, uh, uh, well, it, its advantage of being a financial 
hub to mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. Right. So the the Web three and crypto part is a very good uh uh well addition to that and a forward thinking addition. Mm -hmm. Uh. So uh, uh. In my view, uh. So we really need to uh take this kind of opportunities uh to try out. I, I, actually, I can see a lot of people are moving uh, towards this direction. Mm -hmm. Uh. So uh. In my view, uh. In uh. What if if we talk about optic. Uh, so uh, what's the value to us? Uh, I think, uh, well, the main value for us is uh, for the ecosystem development. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, for uh, if you do just do a crypto, uh, like a DeFi exchange, uh, the location doesn't matter as mm -hmm. long as the change is, uh, well, uh, follow the regulation. But on the other side, if you really try to run uh, business applications, it's very local, right? It's uh, it's very local. See, yeah. for example, I cannot say uh, develop a coupon voucher system, membership system, uh, without lending into any market, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so in in that view, it's a, Hong Kong is a very ideal market for us to test it out. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, Hong Kong is pretty uh, well. Uh, I would say international, uh, glo global travelers, uh, tourists, uh, uh, every day. So, so I think that's a very good place uh, to test, and uh, also maybe build some uh, pretty good use cases. So, uh, and then uh, of course we also have a plan uh, for the Southeast Asia, uh, even uh, Northeast Asia, and right? <laughs> Japan and Korea. Mm. Uh, of course, Europe and uh, uh, North America and South America. But but now I, I think in the next few months, uh, we 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 really want to pull some uh, efforts, uh, put some efforts to support this Hong Kong market, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, 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 maybe I shared with you before. So we do have some uh, ecosystem applications uh, uh, in mind. And also in our community, people are talking about a lot. Mm. Uh, the 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 pain spot uh, that we and the, those application developers had before is uh, there's no place really to try it out. There is uh, most of them are in the concept level, right? Mm -hmm. So it's pretty pretty beautiful, but. No business uh, really run on top of it, except those DeFi uh, applications. Mm. For example, in our case, you know, we started uh, uh, Optic. I was I would say pre Optic network uh, period. We we were working on the NFT ticket on Ethereum, right? Mm -hmm. in, in, back to maybe five years ago, but it never landed in the market, right? Uh, before it was the infrastructure issue. And now we have our infrastructure. Now we are looking for market. So that, that's why I think, uh, well, Hong Kong could be a good place <laughs> to try it out. I'm pretty optimistic to that because I know uh, uh, if you believe Web3.0, uh, if you believe uh, the, the well, value of internet, uh, if you believe that's part of the next generation of the internet, so there must be some applications uh, moving forward. Right, yeah. so uh, so I think we are trying to take this uh, round as a uh, well, uh, uh, well, first wave of uh, uh, pioneers or adventure uh, uh, takers. Yeah, so yeah, so I, I I think that's a good opportunity for for those people. Yeah, yeah, totally. That's great. You don't want to, yeah, you want to act as as soon as possible, right? Otherwise, someone will uh, get into the market before you, and it'll be that much harder. So it's yeah, because be I know, yeah, because you know, uh, a lot of concept is uh, pretty uh, natural uh, to people. So everybody believe it, but mm -hmm. not many people really make it, right? So that's that's the nature of the startup uh, entrepreneurship, right? So uh, maybe hundred people believe some concept, and the ten people build it, and also eventually just one people uh, really survive in the market. So I think that's, that's the same uh, uh, situation for uh, even like, like a Web3 applications, right? Uh, the difference is a Web3 application is uh, even more uh, in the early stage because uh, we're, we're building infrastructure, we're building the uh, well application in the same 
uh, in the same time, right? So so there's a lot of things to tune and mm-hmm. to try it out. Mm-hmm. And on the other side, a lot of users, they are still not really uh, uh, used to crypto uh, uh, stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So most people are afraid, uh, are still afraid of uh, building, uh, creating a wallet, right? To remember those uh, 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 phrases. Yeah. So so we that means uh, we really need to have a market uh, to test it out and also try to improve the user experience mm. uh, to make sure it really make the ordinary people accept uh, this is a Web3 application, right? So, yeah. Yeah, sounds ideal. Okay, well, thanks for sharing that. Any other comments about Hong Kong or uh, app development? Well, I, I think uh, today we just take uh, Hong Kong as an example uh, yeah. to to see how uh, crypto market can move forward, as mm-hmm. uh, as well as uh, how uh, Optic view those opportunities. I think uh, what well, maybe there are more than more city like Hong Kong, mm-hmm. right? more country like Hong uh, Hong Kong region. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm pretty optimistic to that. I think the market is waiting for something real. Uh, mm. Something can really uh, touch our daily life. Uh, so I think that's the opportunity. Uh, uh, so uh, if if the Hong Kong uh, support this uh, kind of uh, direction, uh, so we will try to embrace it. Uh, actually, you know, uh, in April, uh, if uh, there there will be a Web three conference in Hong mm-hmm. Kong. Uh, so maybe uh, well. Uh, uh, most people are may, uh, will make a trip to there. So we uh, also got the invitation. Uh, so yeah, we, we will also attend the conference, maybe announce something by then. Hmm. That sounds great, exciting. I just remember there's one more, I think El Salvador. Yeah, that that's also a place uh, people are looking into that because the government already put uh, Bitcoin as uh, their uh, official currency, part yeah. of the currency, right? So, so a lot of retailers can use it. And uh, there's some uh, crypto um, wallet and the Lightning la- Network uh, stuff. They are all those technology are all applied to there. Most places are still uh, looking for such opportunities like a uh, government because uh, uh, they all know this is the direction, uh, real direction, right? Even there's a lot of uncertainties. Mm. But on the other side, uh, a lot of uh, uh, well policymakers, they are afraid of the risks, right? Because uh, uh, if the, if it hurt uh, a large number of uh, individuals, uh, the policymaker should be careful, right? So it should not be that aggressive. Mm. So that's why I think uh, if we uh, see some uh, small to medium size of market is willing to uh, make a try uh, mm. to uh, say uh, under the risk control, uh, they 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 want to give a try. That's a good uh, step forward for everybody. That's the period when we are at uh, in the history. Yeah, yeah, it's a good strategy, like a a pilot sort of program. Don't try to go into a whole yeah. country, but yeah, it's ideal. Yeah. Cool. Okay, thanks yeah. a lot for your time, Brian. Uh, hope to okay. maybe touch base with you on on the situation in a few weeks and see what's happened. Sure. Thank you, John. Take care.